In this video, we'll teach you how to create this Halloween ghost effect in Wondershare Filmora. Start by placing your footage on track 1. Duplicate this footage onto track 2. Next, use the AI tool to perform a smart cutout to separate the subject from the background. Access the stickers library and add the Smokescreen 1 sticker to track 3. Adjust its speed to 0.75 to match the main clip's duration. Rotate it by minus 90 degrees and position it near the subject's left shoulder. Ensure the scale is appropriate. Unlink the scale and adjust the position. Create a mask around the smoke using the pen tool in the mask section. Be careful to preserve the wispy details and avoid harsh edges. Adjust the blur strength and mask expansion. Duplicate the smoke layer onto track 4 and repeat the process to cover the subject effectively. Import a magic ball clip, which you can obtain from Footage Crate for free. Place the magic ball on track 6. Trim the initial frames, set the blend mode to screen, and adjust its color to cyan using HSL in the color tab. Resize and position it beneath the subject. Slow down its speed to 0.50. Duplicate the magic ball two more times to cover the subject entirely. Copy all the magic ball layers and extend them to match the main footage's duration. Hide the track 1 footage to eliminate the background, and export the footage at a higher bitrate for better quality. After exporting, delete all the clips except those on tracks 1 and 2. Import the exported clip and place it onto track 3. Change the blend mode to exclusion and adjust the opacity to 35%. Apply the Film Color 2 effect from New Blue FX in the Effects section. In the Effects settings, change the tint color to blue. Set the tint value to 38, adjust saturation, exposure, and brightness, and set diffusion to 0.80. Apply the Dream Glow effect, change the color to blue, and set the glow intensity to 40. Duplicate the Track 2 footage on Track 4. Adjust the opacity to 65. Apply the Day for Night effect. In the effect settings, change the tint value to 48, set desaturation to 100, expand the light, add contrast, reduce brightness, and introduce a touch of darkness while increasing sensitivity. Duplicate the footage on Track 2 on Track 5. Change the blend mode to screen and apply the Dream Glow effect. In the effect settings, change the glow color to blue and add a glow effect to it. Apply the Day for Night effect once again, adjusting the tint value and desaturation value, and then decreasing the contrast and brightness. On track 6, apply the Film Color 2 effect. Choose the blue tint color, modify the tint value, decrease saturation, increase exposure, and reduce brightness. Apply the Dream Glow effect on track 7, changing the glow color to blue, increasing the glow intensity, and adding a slight blur. You can fine-tune the glow value as needed. Unhide Track 1, go to the Color tab, and make adjustments to give the background a darker with a bluish tone. Apply an adjustment layer for further color corrections. Add the Dream Glow effect to the adjustment layer, change the color to blue, and introduce a glow effect with a slight blur. Finally, render the project to preview the final result. That's all for today. If you are interested in more visual effects, check out filmora.wondershare.com.